Hello everybody and welcome to some Scarlet Keys uh, in the Gauntlet. We are here on On Thin Ice. I've resolved the opening, there was nothing I needed to do. It was just a bunch of text. But we're here, and let's rock. Lost and forgotten, the Prospector's Journal described a horrifying predator. Some call the thing stalking the woods a beast, some call it a spirit, and others know it as a shapeshifter. Descri Describing the thing seems to fill each witness with a primal, unspeakable terror. Seven Doom advances, but we do start with four Doom on the agenda. Quest for the Sable Glass. Thorn may have a head start in their search for the Sable Glass, but you have something they don't. Rhett Landry's Journal. Oh, thank God we have Rhett Landry's Journal. If you can reach the Prospector's Gold Mine before the Coterie, you may be able to keep the key out of their hands. Only investigators of the Condemned Gold Mine may spend the Rex number of clues as a group to advance, and we need six of them. Notably, as you can see from this thing, we get to start with six cards in our opening hand. Alright, let's delete all text. So, this looks pretty good. We keep this. We can mill this. Sorry, we can uh, maul, not mill. We can maul this. I think I'm going to just keep the deduction. Okay. The upgraded version. Okay. This is exactly how it's like there in Canada. It's worse. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse up here in Alberta, at least. Alright, we'll take the Runic Axe and we'll get rid of everything else, I think. Oh, sorry, and the B-Cop. We'll keep the B-Cop, too. Uh, get rid of you. Okay. It's certainly not terrible. What's the Shroud here? It's two. Okay. Alright, well, we start with this in play, which is an awesome start. Huh. I think I want to play Hyper Awareness. We got to get this show on the road. I want to investigate each turn if I can. Because we want to use Rex's ability as much as we can. It's minus 8 Celsius here. There's icy snow on the ground. Yeah, you know, it's always good to stay inside when it's like that. Especially that, that damn icy snow, right? Alright, we're going to investigate for our last action. We're going to go 7 to 2. Hey! That's not a good way to start the day, chat. That's not a good that's not a good first test. Does this not know I just started playing? Alright, we'll play a weapon. Oh, then I'm gonna gain two resources and we'll go upkeep. Yeah, minus 50 Celsius. Alright. Five of seven. Give this a shovel. Uh, concealed two. Okay, well we gotta solve this problem. Uh, flip this, spread that, please. This is Coterie Agent B. One, two, let's do this one. And this guy has a doom on it. Which is not great. We really want to find him. In your turn, if you're at this guy's location, look at the top. Okay, that's pretty alright. So trading what you really have in Canada for Void Chimera would be a win? No, 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 no. The Honestly, <laughs> when you've been in um, Edmonton your whole life, cold weather like that, you're like, okay, that's that's just like how it is sometimes. And you just, you just get used to it. Because there's like, it's just, it's just cold. Alright, we need to get this this turn. So what we could do is we could send Lily attack, move attack. That seems pretty alright. Um, she could also attack, move, beat cop, and then ping it. 
We could do that as well. Let's start with an attack. So we're going to go 6 to 2 using the Runic Axe. Nice. It's just the wind, baby. And then if this isn't it, we'll send Rex down to um, this location. Minus 50, my country would die day one. Yeah, but that's but you're you're used you're not used to it, right? It's normal for us here. It's just kind of like how it is. Alright, we're gonna move into this location. When an investigator draws a hazard treachery, spend two resources to cancel that effects and then discard it. Give me a beat cop. And I think I will ping this. Hey, okay, that's huge. Okay, that's nice. How's the humidity? It's it, it's not humid at all here. That's the that's the exchange. We are uh, we like have absolutely like zero humidity, um, but it's uh, cold as hell in the winter. All right, uh, let's start. Ooh, interesting. I think I want to play Lucky Cigarette Case. And then we're going to investigate. Yeah, no, we have no humidity here. Uh, I'm going to go 8 to 2. Beat that minus 4. Minus 2? All right, so we get to grab two clues. We get to draw a card. We actually get to draw two cards. One off this, one off that. And then we'll move in here. This guy's going to move into this location. <sighs> I'll keep. Now, the thing that's really... Because, uh, like, we don't get, like, crazy hot. Our our highest is usually around, like, 34, right? Um, which is hot for us. But, like, I mean, like, a lot of these pl uh, places where uh, it doesn't get this cold, it probably doesn't get that hot, right? Um, but the, um, we have such a big change, like our, like in Alberta, uh, our temperature high and low, we have like a, a 60 degree. We actually, this year we're going to have an 80 degree difference from the highs and the lows, which is crazy. What do we got? Place one do it in the shadow. There are known as in the shadow. Searching counter deck and scroll apply for an enemy with the concealed keyword and draw it. That's actually pretty chill, to be honest. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna take this coterie agent B again. He can come back. He can come do his thing. And I mean, we want to visit all these locations, so let's go. Uh, sorry, one here, one there, and one here. Yeah, and like 45 degrees Celsius where we are would be no, no good. But I mean, that's just the nature of, um, that's just the nature of temperature and like places on earth, right? We all have the temperatures that like someone else is like, that's crazy. But, you know, then they have something that they're like, well, that's crazy. Unless you're just kind of like in the Midwest and then it's kind of just like, you're kind of a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, all right. What do we got? And to fail skill test while location with a concealed mini card, take one horror. That's not great. We do want to kill this guy. Okay. Hmm. How does Rex make this turn work? I mean, Rex is going to check out one of these locations, right? Where do we need to be? Only in the condemned gold mine. Long time to see. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. I mean, Lily could attack this. We can engage it and we can attack it. That seems pretty an alright use of our time. There's a doom on this guy, by the way. 
And luckily the Doom doesn't matter for this guy. Um, Rex is going to check out one of these. I think he's going to go to the one that has the stuff on it. I'm just trying to think if we go left or, uh, sorry, right or down. I think I'm going to go down. What the heck? Um, the first head Trazer Treacher revealed by an investigate this location each round gains Surge. Okay. So you ain't fucking around, huh? <laughs> You ain't fucking, okay. I swear I got brain damage. It was so hot when I visited Florida in 2009. That checks out. <laughs> we all, we all, uh, we Edmontonians always get, or I mean you Sherwood Parkians, uh, uh, we all get a little bit, um, <laughs> uh, a little bit brain damage whenever it's a little bit too hot. So we move in here. We can't play this fingerprint kit yet, but I think we're going to want to do that. I do want to trigger Rex's ability. Anything over five, yeah, it just slowly kills us. Hmm. Uh, three clues. Grab another clue. We could use our ability again next turn. It'll have all the clues. We just got to, like, go to the right location. I mean, Lily could continue to kick this can down the road. But I don't like doing that, you know? I mean, we're going to investigate 7 to 3. I'll commit this. We're going to go 9 to 3. Nice. We'll grab two cards. From this and the perception. Draw a card, draw a card. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm gonna play the Grim Memoir. I think I like that more than the fingerprint kit, to be completely honest with everybody. Okay. Lily! How are you doing your turn? Are we killing this guy? What, he has three? We go to nine with this? Okay, we attack at what, seven to three? That's pretty good. Yeah, okay, we'll engage this guy. And we're gonna attack him at seven to three. I'm just gonna do plus one damage, I think. Or we just attack him normally. We just go 7 to 3 on this. Minus 4. If you fail, choose a non minus card in your hand and set it aside as a hollow. Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to do plus 1 damage. We're going to do power and we're going to do glory. And we're going to go um, 7 to 3. Yeah. Nice. Uh, defeated. I'm gonna heal the horror because I feel myself taking horror from this card. Alright. Let me go upkeep. Dr. Milan Christopher! Oh, don't mind if I do. Alright, this advances. Uh, the frigid landscape fills you with a kind of numbness. At first you dismiss the feeling as purely physical, a side effect of the cold. It's only when you stop and consider the feeling itself that it dawns on you. The numbness is a result of some strange influence. You're forgetting small moments, memories of the surrounding area. It is as though your mind itself is being hunted and fed upon. Each investigator chooses an ally or item asset in their hand or play area and sets it aside as a hollow. Okay. Um, I can lose this cigarette case. And we can lose this enchanted blade, I think. Brr, it's cold out here. Hey, just a silly question. Does maple syrup taste like honey or molasses or so something different? It tastes like something different. It honestly tastes like maple syrup. <laughs> it is its own taste. All right. As you explore the region, you cannot shake the feeling that you're being watched. It is as though a thousand eyes are staring directly at you. Or perhaps though, uh, up through you. The surrounding forest is filled with a deafening silence. Yeah. I'm not like, I mean, I don't hate maple syrup. I'm not crazy about it, but it is, it, I mean, it tastes like maple sugar, right? 
And it's thinner than both honey and molasses. It's just sugar water. Attach splinter and place your location and test foot three. Fail, take one damage for each hex treachery attached to your location. Okay. Well, guess what hyper awareness does, chat? It gives you uh, plus a uh, foot. So, I mean, I'm going to at least try it. We're going to go... This is a uh, hex. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to try five to three. Oh, I'm not going to fail. I'm just going to pass. Oh, Lily needs a card. <laughs> For each test I copy, own if there are one or more copies in your hand or player, choose and discard those copies and take a damage and a horror. If no cards discarded by this effect, choose a non-weakness card you control in your hand or player and set aside out of play as a hollow. Take my scrying. Take my scrying game. Okay. Well, I think Lily's just going to clean up uh, decoys. So she's going to go 7 to 2 for her first action. We have nothing to play here. I have no cards I want to draw, so we're just going to go 7 to 2. Minus 2. Hey, it's the guy. Perfect. And now I don't need to stress. Okay, well, let's check out one of these locations. I was going to go here anyway, so let's check it out. After you enter Mounder Stream, test foot or book one. If you fail, take one damage. All right, we're going to go three to one. All right, we pass. That's very lucky. And then after the last clues discovered from our Mounted Stream, put the three set-aside outer wilderness locations into play adjacent to it. Uh, do I investigate two to one? No, I think I'm just going to draw a card. Okay, an emergency cash. All right. All right, well, Rex is going to investigate at 7 to 3. I am going to spend a resource to go 9 to 3. Just a good old curiosity about foreign stuff? Hell yeah. I'll, ask, I'll answer any questions about Canada. All right, we'll draw a card. And we will draw a card. We'll draw two cards. And then take one more forward, take one direct damage. Roger, Dodger. We do get to grab two clues, though. Um, and then we can go one, two, and we're going to test five, sorry, we're going to test five to the game's one. Nice. Let's go! All right, upkeep. I mean, I do want to get, hey, this is the, I was actually thinking, we haven't seen Rex's curse yet. So when you had succeeded a skill test, return the revealed chaos token and reveal a new chaos token of this effect cause you to fail the test, shuffle Rex's curse into your deck limit once per test. Flip the brain one over. There's something in my ceiling. I think there's a mouse in my house. Is being Italian normal for Canada? Yes, it is very normal. There are a lot of Italians. Canada has a lot of... It's a very, uh, very diverse country. Yeah, so it's very normal. All right, let's see what we got. Has come colonization days? Uh, no. Not from the Italian side. Oh, not at least from my family side. My my dad moved here in the in the fifties, sixties rather. A bear nearest wilderness location. Oh God, it's a bear. Uh, when it's moving, it skips over connecting non wilderness locations. On the other location, if you fail, take one. Okay. I need a pen to play with. Okay. How do we do this? I would like to not take the horror. So I think we're going to play Premonition. Let's see what we have to commit into this. Nothing. Perfect. Awesome. We'll pass. All right, well, we got a bear to fight, chat, so I think we, it's time to fight the bear, right? It's bear time. 
So I'm gonna engage the bear. To be wed, chat, to be wed, okay? You got retaliate? Of course you fucking do, brother. You're huge. Um, I think we're gonna ding him with beat cop. And then I'm gonna attack him. And this puts us at, uh, I'm gonna do accuracy, power. And you know what? I'm gonna do glory as well. So we're going to go to 9 to 4. Hey. Bear is dead. I'm going to heal the damage. Like, I know there's a lot of things a lot of Canadians know of French language. It, out east they do. Out here in the west, not so much. There's, there's people who speak French out in the west, but it's not common. Like, I know none of my friends, they speak French. None of them do. Are bears common in Canada? Yeah, bears are very common in Canada. This is the Learn About Canada episode for everyone on YouTube, and I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, there's a lot of French people from France. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, when, they, when they came over. You're dead. Okay, I have one action left. I I'm going to draw a card. Ooh, I think that open gate might be good. Uh, well, it came from when the French people came over, right? So that's why um, the French and English both, uh, you know, came over here back in the day. But you speak a bit of German? Yeah, but that's just because my grandma was German. Um, and it was the language that I, like, I attached to most. All right, this is a one shroud location. So I'm going to go seven... Eight, nine, to the game's one. It sounds like overkill, but I want to do it. Nice. Uh, we'll return that and draw again. A. We'll grab two clues, and I will draw two cards. All right, Dex Rex is popping off. Okay. I need some economy, though. All right, the last clue's discovered. We're going to put the three set-aside outer wilderness locations into play. What's the best Canadian snack? Hawkins Cheesies, James. That's not even a question. <laughs> Amen. I mean, I know. I know how it goes. All right, uh, let's check out this one first. Hey. It's the gold mine. Alright, well I'll advance next turn, I think. I don't I don't remember what happens here. Um I guess I'm just gonna gain a resource. I would like to get Dr. Milan out. And we'll go upkeep. I don't like tomato juice. I'm not a big tomato juice Andy. It's not for me. Let's get rid of this garbage. We don't need more cards in hand. Okay. Two of six. Bing? Oh, help me! Lily, I need your help! Oh, shit. Okay. We want to pass this test. We're four to three. Okay, I'm going to commit this Torrent of Power. We're going to go 5 to 3. I'm going to discard one charge to go 7 to 3, I think. Yeah, we're going to do that. So we go 7 to 3. Let's go! Alright, uh, sorry. Wrong person here. Rex should be in there. Yeah. All right, let's advance. I'll spend uh, six of my clues. Excuse me, I want six of them? All right. Hawkins Cheesies. So, you know, like, do you know, like, Cheesies, like Cheetos, like Cheeto Puffs? The American snack with the tiger that's going, Rawr, I love Cheetos! Chester Cheeto, I think his name is. <laughs> Maybe he's a cheetah. Is he a cheetah? He's a cheetah. Tony's the tiger. Chester's a cheetah. That makes sense because it's Cheetos. Um, Hawkins Cheesies, yes. So it's like a... 
It's a cheesy. It's really good. If it's Agenda 2 or 3. As you approach the con condemned gold mine, you see from the broken barricades and tracks of the snow that Thorn and the Coterie have already arrived. Before you can backtrack, two guards emerge from the shadows brandishing shotguns. Don't move, one of them says. Read scenario interlude raw deal in the campaign guide. Sounds good. Skip to raw deal two. Uh, we'll work with you for now. How many do we have in here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work with him. Alright, well, the cell made a deal with Thorn. We love Thorn. This David Bowie ass motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, remove one squid and add a tablet. Put the thud in the lead investigators will control and attach the stable glass to it. Um, story asset. We want the story asset. Hello? There he is. <laughs> He's on the other side. Um, attach the stable glass to it. Switch candidate against a couple of the cards the Crimson Conspiracy and counter set and remove them from the game. Which one's the Crimson Conspiracy? Is that the phone call? The phone call. So it's got to be this one, right? Conspiracy in red. How many cards are in this set? Five? Oh, so then it's going to be the Coterie Agents. Yep. And then we have the two in here. Conspiracy in red and the Coterie Agents. Um, on Thin Ice, Agents of the Outside, Agents, yeah, it's that one. They really should put the name on, they really should have put the name on these cards for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, bud. I remove those from the game. Alright, uh, Rex. Some reason during my childhood, there's a lot of cartoons themed on Canada. Later it stopped, but the good impression stayed, I guess. Canada's great. I love Canada. <sighs> I love Canada. So I'm glad you. I'm glad you got a good impression. Okay. Thorne said they were trying to track the predator in these woods, although the beast leaves no trace. You can surely scout the surrounding area before luring it out. If your location is the wilderness trait, and Invesky's location spend player clues as a group, place one resource on your location as a scouting port. Limit one scouting point per wilderness location. We want to scout four times, right? That would be our goal. Investigation sets cards out of some exhaust from the mist would take me to action if it was their turn. Okay. Alright. I can use his sable glass too, right? Because he's under my control. Do you have free healthcare in Canada? Yes, we do. But our healthcare is kind of in the fucking shitter right now. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, our healthcare is kind of um, shitting the bed right now, especially here in Alberta. But I know it's bad all over the country. But it is free. But it is definitely uh, poo poo caca right now. Okay, how do we do this?
Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, Thorn has great character design. You dumb rat, get out of my ceiling. I hear you up there. I don't know what to do if you have a mouse in the house. This is my... <laughs> Just hope it dies. Hope it goes away. That's a new idea. Hope Russ finds it. Alright, so Lily could move in here and engage this guy. Sorry, I have to uh, put the top card. Search for the truth. Adopted as a son. That's a great idea. I think we just move in and Lily attacks it. Lily comes in here. And we're gonna do eight to three with a plus one damage. We actually don't have rats in Alberta. Yeah, he's toast. I know that sounds like I'm fibbing. <laughs> But we don't. <laughs> Only in our government, right, James? <laughs> Got him! Am I right, James? Am I right, brother? <laughs> right, we're gonna go three to one. Alright. If you fail, okay, so we're gonna take a damage. And I'm gonna hollow, I think, this emergency cash. Okay. Rex is going to move in here. Chad, how many of these do I want to put out? There's just ma there's just mice. There's no rats. Did you know they crawl their way out of their sewer into the toilet bowl? I did know that. All right, we're going to go 5 to 1 to test this location. Nice. Uh, we're gonna move into here for our second action. Oh shit, I have to- sorry, one second. Uh, we have to go, um, do that again. Nice. Forgotten outpost. So this is connected to the isolated road. Alright, for my last action, we're gonna Grim Memoir it up. And we're gonna go 9 to 4. Give me 10 to 4. Okay, we'll return and reveal. Nice. We'll grab two clues. And I will draw two cards. Okay, I have to get rid of a card. Oh, we have to go to upkeep anyway. Alright, upkeep. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna burn... my no stone on turns. And then we're going to go three of six. So I just have to spend two clues. Oh, but Lily could do this too, because then Rex could, like, get the job done. No more than one concealed mini card be exposed by investigators at each round. Sure. Cracking ice. Put your play next to the agenda deck, then if there are three or more copies of Kraken Ice next to the agenda deck, discard them, and each investigator will this location test uh, foot four. Must take one damage, one horror, or lose one action for each point they failed by. Spicy! Alright, that's pretty fun. Scout a bit. 
This one resource on your location is a scouting report. All right. I think Lily is going to move in here. Lily's going to do the action. So she, we're going to spend player clues as a group. And I will place a resource on our location as a scouting report. We have scouted the Forgotten Outpost. Nice job, Lily. I think we want to avoid moving back in here. I think I'm going to move into this location, actually. I think Rex is going to be fine if he does draw an enemy, so he can kind of just do his own thing right now. And then if we draw a hazard, like maybe one of these, I can cancel it. Oh, no, that's not the cancel one. <laughs> okay, we don't want to move there then. I think I'm just going to stay here and draw a card. Oh, yeah, I'll play that under my control. Might as well, right? All right. Rex is going to move in here. He's going to test five to one. We pass. Let's draw a new one. We pass. We're then going to move up here. Okay. Hunter's Lodge. I forgot about this. This is a cool location. When you reveal Hunter's Lodge, test Brain or Book 3 to talk the Hunter down. If you fail, take one damage. I'm going to commit this Perception, and we're going to go 7 to 3. Alright, draw a new token. We pass. We'll draw a card. I think for my last action, I'm going to Investigate, and we're going to use... I had two secrets left on my Grim Memoir. Where did they go? Oh, we're going to spend one of them to use it. So that puts us at 9 to 4. Sorry, 7 to 4. We're going to go 9 to 4. I'm going to go... ten to four. Oh. Okay. It's not very cash money of you game, but I get it. Oh, that can go. Alright, four of six. This is gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're big! Okay. So we need the Emissary of Yagath, and we need two decoys. I'm going to put one here, one here, and then one with Lily. Test your outsider main without a copy of Matter version. It cannot... Uh, it gets well, loses aloof, gains retaliate, gets plus one fight and evade. Okay! You're an outsider? You're not. This is going to gain Surge. There's no outsiders. Oh, God, no! <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to get fucked by this. I think we want Lily to go first. Lily's going to attack her location. We're going to go 7. We're going to go uh, 8 to 4. Uh, we do pass. It's just the wind. Alright. We're then going to move in here and we're going to test 3 to 1. I would like to pass this. Minus 2, we do pass. Okay. The question is, do we attack this guy? You have four health. I can't kill you this turn, so I think we have to wait. The only problem is... Rex. How do we close out this turn? I think I'm going to attack 
this. We're going to go eight, uh, seven to one. All right, it's him. That's fine. Gives Rex the ability to just move impeded. Hunter and massive. All right. Fight me, punk. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready for it. I'm going to drop down Dr. Milan Christopher. And then we're going to investigate at 7. 9. 11 to 4. Alright, let's so draw another token. We're okay. We're going to grab two clues. We're going to draw a card. We're going to draw a card. And we're going to gain a resource. For my last action, I'm going to drop two clues down here. Oh, well, I'm going to put the, the thing on this. Yeah, so there's five of this motherfucker that come out, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, enemy phase. We're going to take a damage... This guy's going to take a horror. And then we go upkeep. I have to discard a card. I think it's going to be you. Okay. Five of six. Attach location. After you end your turn, attach location. Choose a nominee's card in your hand and set aside as a hollow. Okay. Uh, Hunter's Lodge. It's a little bit fucked here. The ice breaks. Okay. So, uh, each investigator of location must test foot four. All right. I'm going to use two of these. So we're going to go five, and I'm going to use this, and we're going to go nine to four. That passes. That passes. Lily, I think, is going to use the Eye of Ravens to go six to four. And I'm going to commit this open gate. We're going to go seven to four. Okay. All right. Well, nice try. All right, well, Lily's going to go first. And Lily is going to attack this guy. I'm just going to do, I think, plus one damage. We're going to go seven to three. He's just a guy. This is just a guy. All right, he'll take two damage. Um, I'm gonna do glory. We're gonna go seven to three. He's just a guy, chat. This is just a guy. Yeah, seven to three. I'll take one. We're gonna ding him with the B cop. Finish this guy off with the B cop. This is just a guy, chat. B cop down, and with my last action, you guessed it, chat. Let's play B cop. Rex is going to move in here. We're going to test five to, sorry, six to one. Yep. We're good. I'll scout this location. Then I think we just move in here, right? So I could advance. What's the doom on the last agenda? It's only five. Okay. 
So we could advance at the end of the round because, yeah, we'll be able to check one of them out with Thorn. So let's go upkeep. Hey. All right, this is going to advance. Let's see what this does. During your exploration, you stop and look up the majestic vista of a nearby mountain range. Mountains are amazing. One of the mountains appears as strangely damaged, as though a great fist has punched a hole in the mountainside. Although it is covered in a layer of snow, there is something ominous about the deep, empty pit gouged on the side of the rock. You wonder what horrible thing burst out of the heart of that mountain. As you stare at the impossible destruction around you, a faint buzzing in the back of your mind sets you on edge. You have a creeping feeling that you've forgotten something or someone. Each investigator chooses an ally or item mass in their hand area or play and sets it aside as a hollow. Rex's weakness. Rex's weakness is quite mild. It's annoying as hell, though. I think I'm going to get rid of the cryptographic cipher and we'll get rid of this. Uh, my healthcare being bad. If a person breaks their arm and needs surgery for... They would get it for free. It would just... Uh, broken arms are pretty quick. But, like, if you have, like... If there's something like our, our our emergency room waiting rooms are very long waits and um their uh, nurses and doctors are quitting the job because their conditions are not good. But yes, if you broke your arm you get it for free. The landscape around you is being actively devoured, stolen from existence and memory. A feeling of numbness spreads through you as you stare at the fading wilderness. An uncanny sense that you're losing your grip on reality nags at the edge of your mind. Five doom advances. Oh, sorry, I wanted to advance this as well. Sorry, we did want to do this. All right. After making what preparations you can, you wait around a campfire. Your very presence in this territory makes you a prime lure for whatever awful predator stalks these woods. Soon enough, you hear a twig snap and see a multitude of glowing eyes watching you from the trees. Spawn, void chimera, true form in the shadows and resolve its concealed keyword. Dis distributing of each of these as concealed many cards as evenly as possible among each wilderness location and play. For each location with a scattering report on it, you may look at the revealed side of the concealed mini card just placed at that location. Oh, okay, yeah, right, 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 right. So we actually might even just get know where it is immediately. That pretty that's pretty close to uh, ours as well. All right, so then for each location with a scouting report on, you may look at the revealed side. Here he is. Okay. The shifting chimeric form of the paradimensional beast flits in and out of view. It's playing games with you much like a cat with a mouse. If you can expose its true form, perhaps you can turn the game on its head and banish it once and for all. All right, we have to draw our encounter cards. Enters the play. Each investigator chooses a anomalous card they control in their hand. A player sets aside as a hollow and so feed. Instead of adding to victor's play, we can choose. Okay. Um, you can take this grim memoir from me. And you can take this premonition from me. No, you can take this talisman of protection from me. Hello. What did you draw? Attach your location. Okay. All right. Well, Lily just wants to go and expose this thing, I think. And then we're in, like, boss fight mode. And Rex, you're just going to deal with this. <laughs> You're just going to have to solve this problem on your own. Maybe try to get victory. I don't think this location... I, I don't remember all of these having victory. So I don't even know if I'm going to go check this location out, to be honest. I might. All right, Lily's going to move in here. And Lily is going to attack. And we have seven to four. I'll go nine to four. Hey. 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 
Put the vo Outsider's Lair into play and move the Void Chimera true form to this location. Oh, look at all these. Wow. Um... Hello? Where did that act go? Did I already put it in there? Oh, no, it was here. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, and each investigator at its location to Outsider's Lair. Alright, Lily. Right, there's so much text on this card that actually doesn't matter. Uh, wall does no clues. Void Chimera True Form gets plus one, minus one fight, and minus one evade. Okay. You're massive. Your prey has tramped you in its own lair. The alien beast unveil. Oh, sorry. All investigators at its location. At its location to Outsider's Lair. Okay. This guy has eight health, huh? He only hits for one and one, though. He's just a guy. It's a broken thing about this scenario. I don't think it's broken. I think that's by design. I, I don't think that's broken. I think this is working as exactly as the designers intended. Um. Okay. Your prey has trapped you in its own lair. The alien beast unveils itself in all of its otherworldly grandeur, looming over you in a myriad of amorphous forms. When it's, uh, where a void guard was exposed, it's connected to its outsider's lair, but not vice versa. If it's defeated, advance the act. Okay. I mean, I would like to get this victory, but if we don't, I think that's okay. Because this is just a guy. He's just like me. <laughs> uh, he has four. So we can go seven with the plus one damage. So we're going to go seven... Eight to four? I mean, actually, I'm going to use the premonition here, I think. Okay, yeah, we can go seven to four. Or we can go eight to four. Use this and go eight to four. So seven, eight. Uh, we'll deal three damage to this guy. And we'll beat cop him for another damage. The decoys are there just for fight-heavy teams, then in case they also fight heavy, it's easier for them? No. Uh, these guys are here if you fucking suck. <laughs> if you suck and you're not good at, like, playing Arkham, you're gonna have to, like, go through the boss fight. Like, if you're strapped for time, your decks aren't good, you're gonna have to, like, shoot your shot. You're gonna have to, like, see how it goes. I started with four Doom on this agenda. I'm playing Rex, though. That's why our, our tempo has been so good. Okay. Okay, well, Lily's gonna get attacked. I'm gonna take a direct horror. That's okay. Because this guy, in theory, should be dead next turn. I don't know if we're gonna be able to... Yeah, if you have a few turns left. Yep. <sighs> Stone Cold Stun Fisk! 31 months of the Golden Table! Recently we played Scarlet Keys and I was very underwhelmed. I'm playing Scarlet Keys right now, and I'm having an alright time. I think it's been pretty, it's been pretty alright. Pretty good. I think these guys should have had victory on them. TBH, these guys should have had victory. Because then you could kind of, like, go for it. Oh, look at him change. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Look at him go! Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, because, yeah, if they had Victory 1, there'd be a reason for people to try it. Okay, so I have an idea that's a little bit stupid, and I'm just trying to see if it's worth it. Or if we just send Rex in, and we try to get some clues off of this location. I think we want to get the clues. So I'm gonna evade this guy. We're gonna go three, five, six. We're gonna go six. Spending one for this. We're gonna go six to the games two. Reveal another token. He's evaded. And then we go one. Test six to one. Reveal another token. Oh. We pass. We move in here for our last action. Alright, this guy's gonna attack Lily. Lily's gonna end up taking two horror, one from this. So we're gonna go like that, I think. And then we go upkeep. Hey, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. That's fine. Okay. All right, well, Rex is going to go first. Rex is going to do the Shade Reaper. Choose a non-elite enemy at your location. And move that enemy to a connecting location. We're going to move it into the Lily's location. Uh, we may... Oh, this doesn't... This is going to flip. You may force that enemy to attack another enemy's location, dealing its horror as damage. So this guy's going to deal two damage to the Void Chimera. Bringing him down to two HP. And flip that. Rex is then going to move in here. And I think Rex is going to... We're going to risk it for the biscuit, chat. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get attacked. So we're going to take two damage and one horror. And we are going to investigate at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're going to go eleven to four. We have to draw two tokens here, remember. So we might see the auto fail. We didn't. So we're going to use Rex's ability and we're going to get one clue, Rex's ability, and then two deductions. I will draw a card with the lucky cigarette case. We have it. All right, and then Rex will pass on his last action. I mean, Rex could try to evade this guy at 3-3. Three to three. You go 5, 6, 7, 8 to 3. I mean, it's the right choice to actually just try it. We'll go 8 to 3, just in case Lily auto-fails on all three of her attacks. I think the chances of that are incredibly slim, but it is something you should just, you should just play for. We have one action left rather than passing, you know? Alright, let's attack this motherfucker. I'm gonna go 8 to 3. With plus one damage. Hey, that's the opposite of an auto fail. Dude's dead. As you land a final blow, the shifting violent thing collapses into itself with a noisome cacophony and a sudden suction of air. As its form crumbles, the strange other world around you begins to disintegrate, and you find yourself drawn back to the reality in a rush of static and ozone. Check which version of Thorn is in play. Well, it is the story asset, so we're going to go 35. Well, sorry, resolution 1 on page 35. Uh, we have Victor X. Thorn is the bearer of the sable glass, and mark three time and we may embark. Okay. Sable glass is Thorn. We mark three time. One, two, three. So we're going to have to read these. And we also need to read Theta. Oh, 
Okay, so let's read Theta first, which is just Desi. And then we have this one. The reports continue. Now it is not just missing people, but people returning, having changed buildings and objects too, replicated but different, off like they had been uh, dismantled and then reassembled. But why? Add a cultist to the bag. Sure. And then each investigator is going to earn a paradimensional understanding. Which I can add in to an Arkham DB. Para-dimensional understanding. Okay. What does that look like? Yes, right, okay. Oopsie. All right, we may embark. Well, we're gonna follow our plan, which is then go down to San Francisco. That was our plan last time. And I can delete this. Get out of here, no one likes you. All right, San Fran. Quid pro quo one. So we'd like to get around faster. Add one copy of expedited ticket to their deck. You may embark. Yeah, I would like an expedited ticket. While embarking to a new destination on the map, you may exile expedited ticket and mark one time your campaign log to travel anywhere on the map. Okay. Okay. So what do we do now, Chad? How much time do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten time left. But we really have nine. I don't know what to do at this point, Chad. This one's done. So what are our last scenarios? We got Marrakesh, Alexandria, and Sanguine Shadows. Which is Buenos Aires, I think. I'm not super into the Buenos Aires. I'm not like super into doing any of these scenarios, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like Dead Heat Late. Take me to the front for a second. Embarking. Should we do a side scenario chat? <laughs> I mean, like I could do Alexandria late, but once again, I'm not super into that scenario either. I could just explore random scenario locations. I could just explore some random locations in hopes of, um, like, trying to deduce the hidden ending, right? Because I do know I can't get it, so like, we could just, like, start checking some shit out. Like, we can just do a bunch of reading. We can go to Tokyo, down to Sydney, to Perth, to Nairobi, to Lagos. <laughs> I mean, we can maybe even stop at, um, we could go to Alexandria. That's what we could do, right? We could do Tokyo, to Sydney, to Perth, to Nairobi, up to Alexandria. Hmm. 
Let's do some scouting. Let's learn for the future. All right, let's go to Tokyo, baby. Let's spend one time. Tunguska's where I go for the final scenario, right? All right, give me Tokyo. If the cell is the living foundation, special delivery one. Campaign log. Each investigator may have one copy. Must have one copy of Foundation Intel their deck. If it's not counted on the deck side, this card can be found in the Globe Trident Encounter set. What? So we have to go to Lagos? We can go to Lagos. That can be part of our, our trip here, right? We can, we can end down to Lagos. What do you use your expedition on? Probably go to, um, probably go to Tunguska. So I imagine the other one is Lagos. That's the other one we want to go to, right? Yes, 37M. Okay, so we want to go to Lagos. We're just doing uh, side quests. Alright, and then we spend two time, three time, oh no, no, two time, one, two, to go to Sydney. No, one, two, three time to go to Sydney. Holy cow. I don't know if we're going to get another scenario in, to be honest. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sydney. Check how much time has passed. More than 20 time has passed. Ringing hollow. Agent Quinn has vanished from existence. See ya, nerd! Alright, so now I know I need to come back to Sydney with less than 20 time. And also this says ringing, which makes me think of a, a sound or a whistle. So I think this might be related. Alright, let's spend another time. Dude, we're, I think we might be finishing the gauntlet today. Give me Perth, baby! Cool breeze. Paranatural Selection 4. Hey! We get one experience. All right. We have met with Dr. Irawan. They have not vanished. So we get six XP to build with. Because we, we got five from this. So we met Dr. Irawan. Let's spend a time to go to Nairobi. Nairobi, let's go. Hit me up. Let's see what we got. Infernal machinery. If at least three of the Fallen are recorded, Lashika Roja's on your side, the Celly to the Night, Aliki is on your side. Is Aliki's not on our side, she just gave us the whistle, right? No. We made a deal with Desi. We made a deal with Thorn. We're missing one of them, right? So if we actually worked with Eche, we would have got this. Okay, what would this do? Oh, we would have got her on our side. Okay. Okay, we would have got a thing. Alright, that's cool. Uh, Tawil Masai has fled to Bermuda. Alright, okay, good for you. Bermuda. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. All right, we're going to go to Lagos now. <laughs> we did it, chat! Sorry, we're here. 37M. All right. If you're in Lagos, skip to Special Delivery 4. In your campaign log, record. Cross off the cell is delivering intel. Each investigator moves one copy of Foundation Intel from their deck. 
Choose any number in the token bag. Replace it with a token one value higher. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we cross off. We're delivering intel. So these are gone, and we lose the foundation intel, right? All right, what token do we do, chat? We could turn the minus fours into the minus three, but cultists are bad the whole time. Let me just look at the final scenario. I just want to see what their cultist is. Minus five. Right. I think I'm going to turn the minus three into a minus two. I think we want to do that. Okay. Now I just want to peek how much time do I get in Alexandria resolutions? Why not minus four to a minus three? Um, I think it's easier and more common to be up two. And I'd rather just increase my odds of my of being up two than being up three. It also synergizes with Rex a bit more. I'm just looking at these resolutions. Two time... One time, one time, two time, three time. Okay, chat. I don't think we're doing Alexandria. I think we're going to go right to the end. We're going to go to Tunguska. That's where we need to go, right? Yep. I think we're just going to go right to the end. So, that means the next episode is the final episode of the Scarlet Keys and the final episode of the Gauntlet. Um, did you use your ticket? Yes, I did. That's what I used it for. We, we just flew all the way there. Um, uh, we are going to the final one. And you know what? I'm actually not even upset if I lose. <laughs> I'm actually just really happy the Gauntlet is going to be ending. It's because, like, it, it was a big undertaking, and we got one, one MF and uh, scenario left to go. So let's see it. Congress of Keys. We'll see you all then. Have a good one. And as always, a JJ's.